So after learning the trigo ratio of acute angle, today we will learn what is the trigo ratio of obtuse angle. Obtuse angle is basically any angle that is more than 90 degree. All right. And this one is another chapter that is like a joke. It's damn easy. But, but it is still slightly more difficult than the previous video. But don't worry, it's actually quite simple. So let us take a look at the objective. Take out your notebook and write this down. Today, I will learn using sine and cosine to find an obtuse angle. And the key is 180 minus x. And there are actually two angles for sine x. That means sine x Actually, there's two possible answer. Unlike what we have learned in the previous video, because previous video we are only concerned about acute. But your sign X can actually have two answer. Later on, we'll see why. Don't worry. Just copy this down first. Okay, so let's do some investigation. I have this angle here. Let's call this angle X. Of course, this one is a right angle triangle. And this angle down here is, of course, 180 minus x. So when we talk about sine x, right, what we actually means is just the opposite side of AB, the length AB, the ratio of length AB over the hypotenuse AC. So that's the meaning of sine x sine x is equal to the ratio of the length. Now, depending on what's the value of x, your sine x will change. So for example, let's say x is 10. Take out your calculator and key in what's the value of sine x. So you just type sine, then type 10. So the ratio is actually 0.1 seven four three sf okay so what is interesting to find out is what is the value of this angle this angle of course is your 180 minus x and since x is 10 here it will be 170 right because 180 minus x which is 10 so type into your calculator what is sine 170. You will get 0 0.174. So doesn't this look familiar? Let's continue our investigation. So now let's just increase to maybe um, 25. How about that? So now sine is 25 or rather x is 25, then 180 minus 25, what do I get? 180 minus 25, I will get 155, right? I will get 155. So type in sine 25, what do I get? Sine 25, I will get 0 0.423. How about sine 155? Sine 155, I will get 0 0.423. Now, maybe we just throw some number, then you go and find out whether they are the same for everything. So maybe let's have 50, sine 50, 75 maybe, and if you like 69, you can find what is sine 69. So take out your calculator and key in the value. Sine 50 should give you 0 0.766. Sine 75 is 0 0.966. Well, sine 69 will give you 
zero point nine three four. And you should realize that this one is sine hundred and thirty. This one is sine. How much is this? Hundred eighty minus seventy five is. 105 then 180 minus 69 it will be 111 so after you go and sign all of them you should realize that hey actually they have the same value so in conclusion sign x is actually equals to sine 180 minus x. The ratio of this and the ratio of this three go y they are the same. So copy down this conclusion and what is important to take note is when they give you a sine x right and ask you to find what is the value of x there will always be two answer x is equals to something or x is equals to the other thing because x the same value of x can have two angle what do i mean by this let's do some practical and you should be able to understand so for example the question will be find the two value of theta so what we are going to do down here is this we are going to move the sine over so theta will be equals to inverse sine or sine inverse 0 0.8 and i will get let's do it inverse sine 0 0.8 i will get 53.1 degree and what is the value What is the other value that theta can be? It will be 126.9 degree. Go and figure how I get this answer. Your calculator will only give you this answer. You have to come up with this answer yourself. Make a smart guess how I get this number. Okay, for question 2, sine theta is equal to square root of 2 divided by 2. Same thing, we write, we bring the theta over. Theta will be equal to sine inverse square root 2 over 2. So you just key in this into your calculator. And you should get theta is equal to 45 degree or it can also be equals to 135 how do i get these two answer remember earlier the conclusion sin x is equals to sine 180 minus x. So how I get 126.9 is actually pretty simple. All I have to do is 180 minus the answer I got here, which is 53.1 degree. Then I will get this. Same thing, 180 minus away 45, I will get this. Because these two answer have the same value. So take your time and do the following two questions. You can pause the video and make sure you have to answer. And if you need to check your answer, they can be found they can be found they can be found down here. Okay, I hope you can get these two answer. So we are done with sine. Let's look at the obtuse angle for cosine. So for cosine, it is actually 
adjacent over hypotenuse. So basically, if I want to find the ratio, it's just A over H. And let's say I have two angles down here. Let's say it's X and this is um, 180 minus X, obviously. So let's play around and explore the value. So again, let's say X is 10. What is the value of cosine X? Cosine 10 is equal to 0 0.985. So when X is 10, this angle down here will be equal to 170 because X equals to 10. So cosine 170, what do I get? Cosine 170, I will get negative 0 0.985. Looks very familiar, doesn't it? Let's try x is equals to 20. Maybe let's have a 35, 70, and let's say 80. All right. So take out your calculator again and calculate. Cosine 20 will give us 0 0.940. Then this one is 160. This one, the one below is 140. This one, the calculation will give me 110, this one is 100, okay, I just realized I should just write the value outside, just in case you're confused, this one is 145, okay, so if you press cosine 160, you should get negative 0 0.940, and cosine of 35 will give me 0 0.819 cosine of 110 will give me sorry cosine of 70 will give me 0 0.342 cosine of 80 will give me 0 0.174 Okay, so make a smart guess what is the value of cosine 145. No prizes for guessing is negative 0.819 for 110. No prize for guessing is negative 0 0.342 and 100. Cosine 100, no point for guessing is 0 0.174. So from this, you can get a conclusion that for cosine x, it is just the negative of cosine 180 minus x. So in conclusion, like what I said, cosine x is equal to negative, okay, the negative of cosine 180 minus x. So copy this down. So let's take a look at some question that can come up. So what we have down here is three simple question. It's actually quite easy. Something that you have learned before. First one is a trick question because for positive number, cosine will of course be an acute angle. So if you press cosine 30 or cosine 0 0.3, so, so what I do down here is I move the cosine over, becomes cosine inverse 0 0.3 and theta will be equals to 72.5. How about this? For this, it will just be cosine is equals to inverse cosine negative 0 0.3 and my answer will be 
it looks sign of zero point three. I will get. I will get hundred and seven point five. And you can see that this and this will add up to one hundred eighty. For the last question, the working is actually completely the same. We just move our cosine over. So theta will be equals to cosine inverse bracket negative square root two over two close bracket, and you should get hundred and forty five degree. Right, I forgot to write degree for everything. And that's how easy this is. Basically, you just move the cosine over and use your calculator to do the rest of the job. So please try out these three questions. They should be very easy. It's just pressing of calculator or inverse. Pause the video, try them out. And if you need to check the answer, they are down here. So this is all for this video.